Uh, we all know that we've been pretty spoiled over the past few weeks with the College World Series and the U.S. Olympic swim trials, which continue through the weekend. Our Jeff Packer is live at the CenturyLink Center with one of the biggest names in U.S. swimming. Jeff, who you got there with you? Matt, thanks so much. I've got John Neighbor right next to me, five-time Olympic medalist, four gold in the 76 games. John, thanks so much for joining us and for making me feel pretty short. You know, Jeff, I was tall I was, at the time in 1976. I was the tallest Olympic champion. Now I'm number 400 and something. They're all tall now. <laughs> well, uh, you, you certainly humbled me a little bit, but uh, you're very good in front of a, a camera. And as we were discussing earlier, uh, a broadcaster and something you're dialing back a little bit. But um, as you mentioned, you're in, starting to enjoy retirement a little bit more. You're enjoying things like this. You just did some autographs. What's it been like at this trials for you so far? You know, I get to watch the races today, and I'm so glad I'm retired from swimming because they're so much faster than I dreamed of going. And it's so exciting to be a part of this because Omaha puts on a celebration better than any other Olympic trials that I've ever attended, <clears throat> other than the other two that were here in Omaha. This town really makes us feel special, and it gives the swimmers such a send-off that they can hardly help but do better in Rio. It's just really a thrilling opportunity. And then, of course, we use this as our Olympic reunion. So many of the 1976 Olympians are here to celebrate and enjoy and be in the crowd. And, of course, this Aqua Zone is a spectacular destination resort for anybody who has anything to do with water. It's just a fun place to come. We love Omaha. You mentioned 76. I guess you accomplished so much back then. And with this being kind of a landmark year for you, I guess, does the enormity of what you accomplished uh, kind of resonate after these years? Well, I tell audiences that four gold medals used to be a big number. Now it's only half of what Michael Phelps can do in a single year. But that notwithstanding, I realized that on one day, way back in 1976, on one day, I got to say I was the best in the world at something. Now, that, that something was, swimming back quick, quickly on your back is not really of significant value. But it was a wonderful memory. And the skills that it takes to become the best in the world at something those are the skills that have value to everybody. And that's why the kids come and parents bring their families because they want to be inspired by greatness, real greatness, and we get to see it here in Omaha. Well, I know we can all agree with that. John, thank you so much for being on with us here today and enjoy the rest of the trials. Thank you, Jeff, my privilege. Matt, back to you. We'll see you in sports a little bit later. All right, Jeff, looking forward to a great message for all the kids out there. You can do anything. Sports is a perfect analogy for that.